and my mom drops an avocado pit. And before we know it, it is in Wrangler's mouth. The last we heard was that they put him under, they did an incision, pulled the avocado pit out, and then they were trying to wake him up and they said, come get him at five o'clock. <laughs> doesn't even want to lay down because it gets caught. But he's so tired. Did you smell it? You smell it inside the stomach? You don't smell it? No. You can smell it inside the stomach. It's the same smell deer have. Turkeys. Thank you, baby. It's okay. There you go. Is this breaking your heart as much as it's breaking mine? All right, hey everyone, welcome back to the, um, well, I guess this is the first night. All right, so we are a few hours post-op at this point. Little guy has learned how to lay down. That probably took, what, I don't know, three hours. But I literally had to like pull him into my lap at one point and just get him to lay on his side because every time he went down, he just immediately went back up because he was uncomfortable. Um, but he's, he put himself like that. So I made myself a little pallet here to sleep out here with him. He normally starts on the bed with us and then jumps down, but he can't jump right now. So I thought I'd join him on the floor. So we opted for the shirt right now. Yeah, he gets daddy's shirt instead of a comb. Um, seems to be working. He hasn't gone after the incision yet. So we're gonna watch him as long as he's good and not going after it. I guess we'll stick with the shirt. He seems more comfortable. We may go pick up a donut <laughs> Yeah. for him. Um, but if need to, the cone is right over there in the corner. So you can throw it back on him if need be, but um, the oversized shirt seems to be working pretty well for right now. We gave him some ice chips earlier. He seemed to like that. And then as far as food's concerned, no food until tomorrow morning. And then he can have a couple tablespoons. That's it. We'll see how he does. But, uh, yeah, now we're just monitoring him. He's peeing and pooping, which is good. Uh, so we'll see if he can keep some food down. And then other than that, it's just give him meds and watch the incision. So, not exactly how we thought today would go. All right, guys, cool. We'll give you an update um, as, as the days go. We'll see what happens. some food, baby. You gonna take your pills? I'm gonna put these in his food. But he's probably not going to eat them. Funny how he just leaves the pills behind. So he's one for three. Okay. And just like that, they're down. Good boy. Yeah, we're good to go. All right. 
Hey, sweet baby. Regular. Hey. What are you doing? He's not going for the incision. <laughs> He's itching up here. Oh, sweet baby. Got an itch up here. Does that feel good? Is Daddy your own personal scratcher now? Is that what you need? Yeah, he's starting to roll over on his own now. I mean, check that sucker out. I mean, that's a good, you know, five inches, yeah. five inch incision. Sweet baby. <laughs> Wrangler, are you naked? <clears throat> Did you pee on your shirt? Did you pee on your shirt for the second time? Maybe my fault. <laughs> Because dad didn't learn. <laughs> Sorry.